Welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming out on a Saturday, on St. Patrick's Day, when you could be drinking, <laughs> but you chose to be here with us. So thank you. And we don't believe in luck, so that's probably why we changed it today. We believe in blessings, and God has truly blessed us with this opportunity. And so I'm here to share my story, but not only my story, what the new wealthy is all about. Because there's a new thing called the new wealthy that a lot of people do not know about. And so I'm coming here to share that. A lot of people say, oh, the South, they're not going to do nothing in South Carolina. They're not going to do nothing. I don't know why y'all going there and there to try to build up that, that community in South Carolina. But how many people in this room live in South Carolina? <laughs> do you disagree with that statement? Yes. All right. Thank you. So I'm in the right place. Okay. Well, thank you. Let's give it up for South Carolina. Yes. <laughs> Because I believe God can dwell anywhere. And this is the Bible Belt. So we all want some more wisdom. And that's why I'm here. This is the Healthy, Wealthy, and Wise Tour. We want to get healthy. We want to get wealthy. And we want to be wise. But what the wealthy is, which some people might want it, the MTV Cribs life, that's fine. But the new wealthy, it's a whole different ballgame what the new wealthy is. And a lot of us have to access it. So, my name is Tia Santiago. She has trouble with my name because I'm a newlywed. So it ain't like she don't know me. She's just used to calling me something else. <laughs> I'ma just clear that up. <laughs> so I got married back in September of last year. And um, so now I am Tia Santiago. I'm not Spanish. Although my, although my hair is a little curly. I paid for it like that. But anyway. <laughs> so. But I am here in South Carolina. I used to live here. I was here nine years. Um, but I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. And so if you have seen HBO's Corner, that uh, series that they had, the miniseries, then you saw my house. If you, my house was in the movie. If you saw HBO's Wire, then you saw my neighborhood. So you know where I'm from. Although I was a preacher's kid, double PK, I still became a product of my environment. And my environment was drugs. Again, if you saw the wire, you saw my environment. And so at 14 years old, my dad died. And my dad was my world. I was definitely the definition of a daddy's girl. I was always with my father. I was up under my father for everything. He played the organ in church, I was on his legs. When he was preaching in church, I was on the pulpit next to him. I mean, I literally, was up under my dad. And so he died at 14. My mom was a living nurse. And so she came on the weekends. We saw her on the weekends. And so, wow, for him to die like that, I was like, what is my mom gonna do? And I have no idea why a 14 year old would have in their mind that they would have to take care of their mom. But that's what came across me. Not really that I have to take care of her, but that I can't be a burden on her. That was my thoughts. I don't want too much pressure on her. She's already, she has to come back home to us now. Um, me and my sister, my brother, we were pretty close in age. And so it was like ninth grade, 10th grade, and 11th grade. And so she had to come back home. She can't leave a ninth grade, 10th grader, and 11th grader home alone. So I started selling drugs at 14 years old. I sold drugs in Baltimore City at the age of 14. Uh, by, by 15, I was in a gang. Um, I just was doing everything that like that community showed me. I did all that. It was like I didn't even know God. It was like I didn't even know that I was a child that was born again. But um, train up a child in the way they should go. And they will not depart from it, even though they might skid away for a little bit. They will not depart. So I'm standing here right now today, blessed to be an ordained minister and to minister all over the country and bless and empower women and families and the youth so that they won't go down that path. But thank God for this industry called network marketing. A lot of people are afraid of it. A lot of people don't like it because they're not trained the proper way to do it. Then it also goes by what are you marketing? Because guess what? Everybody in here do network marketing. Yourself. Each person yeah. in this room does it. Mm -hmm. It's a few of us that just decided to get paid doing it. That's all. 
Because if I ask you right now, I haven't been here in a while. It's a rest. It's a new grocery store on Broad River. Who lives on Broad River Road near Broad River? You live near Broad River. What's what's that grocery store that's um, near Broad River and St. Andrews Road? It used to be Bilo. It's something else now, right? It, it's Harvey's, right? How's Harvey's? Is Harvey's good? Harvey's prices is good? If I asked you that and you knew about Harvey's, you would say, oh yeah, Harvey's prices are good. Go to Harvey's. You just marketed for Harvey's. Or you didn't get paid. That's just what we do all day. Girl, I went to Red Lobster on Two Notch Road. You need to go to that Red Lobster because the they got da, 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 da. that's good. Two and three people go to that Red Lobster because of what you told them. Red Lobster makes the money. They didn't give you a dollar for that. That's all network marketing is. I found something that I like. I went and shared with my friend. That's all it is. And so when people get more of an understanding of what network marketing is, then they don't be as scared to do it or take that leap. Because what we all need in here, especially with this economy and everything that's going on in the world, you need a multiple stream of an income. You need something else coming in besides that one job that you could lose like that. I've seen it happen. Does anybody in here have anybody that has been laid off at any time in their life? Do you know anybody that's been laid off? Half the room's hands are up. So that tells me that there's a such things as layoffs and a death in the family. You need another income. And so when we look at residual income and network marketing, don't make it so deep. Remember that you already do it. So say, shoot, I might as well get paid for it. So that's what this is all about. So how many people in here have ever had any kind of dreams? Any dreams, any good dreams, any dreams of going mm. on a trip? Anybody dreamed of going on a cruise? Yes. Anybody, anybody dreamed of traveling the world? Yeah. Somebody want to go to Europe in here? We got any people that want to go to Europe? Right. Paris, who wants to go to Paris? I know it's got to be one. <laughs> there it is, I got a Paris person in the house. <laughs> Yeah. Right, land on everything. Yeah. That, so that means, I, look, that's the one I'm looking at. I'm saying, she'll be in here today. Because <laughs> she raised her hand for everything. That's a good thing. That means you really have a vision of your life. And you, you've taken a look at what you want your life to look at. So if I gave everybody in here, I want three people, this is interactive. This is not just Tia speaking. If I gave, tell me, if I gave you $1,000 right now, in your household, what would that do for you? Anything. What I mean, it could be anything. I'm just trying to get ideas of what, what an extra thousand dollars do for people. What would it do for you? You would save it. But well, we need savings. Yeah, some people don't have the we can't even save at this point. Tell me what you would do with an extra thousand dollars. Yes, ma'am. I'll take care of my dad. Your dad. So that's a why for you. Your dad is is he um I was gonna say, is he by himself or is somebody taking care of him? Uh, we just moved him in the house. Okay, so that would be some extra help for her as well, getting in. So what would that do? That would get in like a home health aid nurse? Home or health aid, kind of take the pressure off my sister. Take the pressure off your sister. Yeah. Wow, just an extra thousand dollars. Isn't that something? Somebody over here, what would an extra thousand dollars do for you? Uh, same situation, taking care of my mom. Take care of mom, okay. Retired. Absolutely. You beautiful. <laughs> what would an extra thousand dollars do for you? I definitely start. Um, we have some stuff we want to do to the house. Right? That'd be good. An extra thousand will help with that. With the house. Start. Start and get it started, right? right? Especially if it came in every month, then you get it finished <laughs> and not just started. Well, that's why we are here because our co-founder and our president really looked at the industry and said, you know, why is it 95% of the people that don't win, you know, in this industry? What, what is the 95%? What is, what will help the 95%? So what the new wealthy is, the new wealthy is an extra 600 to a thousand dollars, an extra 600 to a thousand dollars in your pocket every month. 
no pressure, a simple plan and way to get it, but an extra $600 to $1,000 in a household will save from a divorce. It will stop a divorce. It will stop a foreclosure. It will stop a bankruptcy. It will stop a repossession. An extra $600 to $1,000. If your transmission go up today, would you have that money? Because like she said, savings. Would that money be there or would you have to go run and go crazy to have that extra money for that transmission? So that's why we're on a crusade, not just for wellness, but the new wealthy. And the new wealthy is having an extra $600 to $1,000 in your pocket. But if you are wealthy and you have all this money and you have this all this great wealth running around, if your health is not together, then you might not stay around long enough to enjoy it either. So that's why they go hand in hand. That's why your health and your wealth goes hand in hand. You can't be healthy and then be broke. That's not a good thing. And then you sure enough don't wanna be wealthy, don't have your good health, and then you die and have to leave your money that you worked hard to somebody else that might squander it, which I've seen happen. I saw a lady that worked at Columbia High. She left her family, they, that money was gone in six months. So that's why the wise come in, the wisdom. That's why this is the healthy, wealthy, and wise tool. We need wisdom in everything we do as well. And so with Wakai Perfection, and I'm going to actually show a video to tell all the reasons why I joined Wakaya. But I joined Wakaya, first of all, I joined the industry of network marketing to have that same lifestyle as a drug dealer, but not go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> So, one thing said one thing yeah, another thing. <laughs> yeah, so I just wanted to slide that in there real quick. That's why I joined the industry. Yeah. And I'm a six-figure earner in the industry of direct sales. I used to knock doors, door-to-door -door sales. Some of the my door-to-door -door people are in here with me, so they remember us knocking on doors and making a good bit of money. Is that not right, Miss Lady? <laughs> so yeah, a couple thousand a week. I mean, we was we was doing it. But um, so I've always liked that make my own money on my own time and i'm not telling nobody in here to walk off your job right now but i want you to at least have plans to save to to when you do leave you'll be set I mean, you'll be financially set and so i joined with kind of perfection really my why was not like this crazy why because my why is the industry and why i want to be successful because i want to help people in my community i want to help my neighborhood but why i joined because I pay for coaching. I go all over the country. Next week, I'm going to get coached in Vegas by Master P. One-on-one, -on -one, literally, by Master P. And so I go get coaching. I, I, I pay for conferences. I am the personal development queen. I like to develop my, my mental state. I like to be educated because applied education brings power. And so not just education, knowledge is power. Applied knowledge is power. Because you can have all the knowledge in the world, but if you don't apply it, there is no power. So I like to learn. And so I get coaching and mentors, and I have mentors that I've met. I've had mentors that I've never met. But when they said, you can partner with the founder of Fiji Water, I said, who? Now, they didn't know that I knew who he was because he started off door to door. Like I did. His first success was door to door. So I, he's mentored me from a distance. And so I said, the founder of Fiji Water, I said, Fiji Water? <laughs> that I drink, the, the, the Fiji, Fiji Water? They said, yes. I was like, my number, 555-423-895. I mean, I pulled out the credit card because I was like, to be mentored by this man. Now we have other options, which we didn't even have when I started. So that's a good thing for you know some of you all that there's other options to get started. But when we started, it was one option and I dropped it. It didn't mean anything to me because I knew I was going to learn and grow from being in partnership with this man. But then they said Oprah's name. I said, but wait, hold, <laughs> hold up. You mean to tell me I'm about to get paid off of Oprah Winfrey's name? How does that work? So Oprah Winfrey has chosen our products twice on her favorite things list. Oprah's been doing Oprah's favorite things for 20 years. This Christmas made 20 years. She has only chosen five companies twice in Wakaya Perfection 
is one of the companies she chose twice. I say, if it's good enough for Oprah, it's good enough for me. Sign my name. Sign my name. Whether people like her or not, she's a woman of power and influence. And so I just believe that I would grow being involved in this, not knowing that I would hit the car payment, not knowing that I would go on a free cruise, not knowing that they would pay my gratuities on the cruise. I was even planning to pay the gratuities. And they sent us an email the day we get off the ship saying, oh, don't pay them. They've been paid. I'm like, who does that for 480 people? God, you sent this company like literally from the throne room. It's such a blessing. But then the health, before you leave, you will see my before picture. I did not look like this February 3rd. I look like two of these February 3rd. I ain't look like this. That's why I had to wear something to show. Because I ain't seen it in a while. So now that I see it, I got to show it a little bit. I was like, Joe, stop taking the stuff. We'll talk about that later. Joe was like, uh-uh. I don't want to lose no more weight. I'll give this to some people. I mean, let me sample it out. So Joe using the rest of his product for samples, but the stuff is crazy. I said, I don't know what they came up with, but anywho, I'm going to show you all why I joined Wakai. It's a 13-minute video I'm going to play for you and let you all see why this company has changed so many of our lives. So bear with me. I think I know how to do this. I'm not a technical person. The sound. What do I do, Joe? From the black. From the black? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think it's on the. No, I don't think it's hooked up to the black. It's... Oh, I did this. You know what? No, because it wasn't the black one. I muted it. I forgot I did that. We have everything you need for a high impact. All right. Hi, I'm Jennifer Halliday, and welcome to Akaya Perfection. Today we're going to give you a brief tour of what we see as the perfect company, showing the perfect product and the perfect opportunity. We have everything you need for a high-impact life. In fact, the only 